Hey, this is Matt from Investiquant. Today is Tuesday, April 19, 2022. Yesterday, the market saw some two-way action. We opened near the lows, were choppy for a while, closed up near the highs, and we are still down near the lows of the recent trading session over the past week. Today is Tuesday, and I think what we're going to be looking at this morning is more of a seasonality type study, and we're going to be looking at Tuesdays in a week market. So let me go ahead and get this set up. I'm going to grab all four instruments. We're going to select uh, the setup intraday open as a long, so entering 9.30 a.m. Eastern time as a long. The exit will be set to 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now, currently, we are trading lower in the overnight session. So I'm going to go to the opening filters. I'm going to click on gap down from the gap direction. The next thing I'm going to do is put us in a similar market environment. We're trading below a 10 and below a 200 day simple moving average. And then the last thing I'm going to click on is the calendar day of the week, Tuesday. So we'll see if uh, there is a bias here on Tuesday. Let me go ahead and click view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when you are gapping down on a Tuesday in a weaker market environment, which I've defined as closing below a 10 and 200 day simple moving average. Historically, we've got 44 samples in the S&P. We've got 46 in the NASDAQ, 48 in the Dow, 57 in the Russell. Win rates on these are skewed a little bit towards the upside. So S&P coming in at 61%. NASDAQ 61%, Dow 58%, Russell 56%. If we look at the average moves, you'll see the average win is larger than the average loss here in the S&P. That's also the case here in the NASDAQ, in the Dow, and in the Russell. So all four of these have larger average wins compared to their average losses, and all four of them have win rates that are at least a little bit favored, with S&P and NASDAQ being the strongest at 61%. So historically speaking, Tuesdays, when you're gapping down in a weak market, have been more favorable to the bulls. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We will see you next time.